Talent ID Talent identification has undoubtedly become big business across a range of different fields including sport, art, business and education. Researchers are continually attempting to find effective me methods to identify the best performers for the future. These fields are united in many societies around the world by high levels of competition. Recently in a lecture for our Talent Pathways module we looked at Talent ID and tried to find what the advantages and disadvantages of it were. We did this by trying to put ourselves in the mindset of someone working within Talent ID and tried to answer the following questions whilst looking at the chart you can see now on screen. Which gymnast would you select as most talented? In gymnastics it is generally considered a disadvantage to be tall as shorter people have a low centre of gravity and can generate angular momentum quickly. As you may expect, the majority of the class chose Nash because he was the shortest and did comparatively well on two other important factors, commitment and agility. Inclusion of psych and psychomotor characteristics provides a more holistic description of talent but still does not provide an understanding of the interaction of these factors over time. Even if you acknowledged this fact and added the contributions of the three components to provide a total score of talent, this still does not provide us with an understanding of the interaction of these factors over time. We then looked at each factor monitored over time depicting the change in stability for each performer. You can see from the chart shown that there are considerable changes for all the gymnastics. It would not surprise anyone that the majority of the class now chose Arnold as his values for height, commitment and agility were favourable at the final retest. However, a few in the class did consider Lorenz. They argued that a lack of stability in his components may indicate that he is progressing through a transitional period. One dimensional Discrete measures of performance related variables will be less effective than a non-linear dynamics approach to DDI. In dynamical systems terms, such unstable behavioural characteristics have been called critical fluctuations, which are in fact necessary to move the system from a previous stable state into a new more effective state. As an example, evidence from by manual coordination tasks has revealed that prior to transitions between stable states, the relative phasing between limbs typically exhibits critical fluctuations. Rod Ruddock discovered Welsh international footballer Gareth Bale when Gareth was just nine years old, whilst playing in a six-a-side match in Newport. Whilst Rod instantly believed Gareth had the talent to make it to the professional game, it took longer than expected for Gareth to show his true potential. Gareth was even labelled a flop by the British media and his, his then current club Tottenham Hotspur almost sold him to Birmingham City for £3 million. Thankfully for Spurs, the deal didn't go through and after a change of position from defence to midfield and a number of world-class performances, Spurs eventually sold Gareth to his current club Real Madrid for £91 million. Within sport, such processes are likely to eliminate many late maturing children from strength sports and early maturing children in agility sports and may negatively impact physical activity levels of these deselected. As an example, Helsin, Starks and Van Winkle reported that players born later in the selection year tended to drop out of football as early as 12 years of age clearly to avoid prematurely eliminating talented children who are currently not performing. It is essential to distinguish between variables that influence performance and those that influence development. Psychobehaviours and psychomotor experiences have been highlighted as key parameters during a sports person's development. So let's take a look at what is considered the best talent ID programme in the world of sport. The NFL Draft. The NFL Draft looks at college kids looking to break into the professional game. 
It is run as an intense four-day job interview in front of NFL coaches, managers and scouts. It sees over 300 budding American football players try out for a spot in an NFL team. Every player is put through their paces and are assessed during each round of the programme. Players can only try out, however, if they are invited to do so. The first round is a physical test which sees participants take on challenges such as a 40-yard dash, bench, pressing, vertical jumps, just to name a few. The participants then go through a number of other challenges including interviews, injury evaluation, drug screening, Cybex tests, which test joint movement, and cognitive test. Pre-2013, participants were subjected to a test known as the Wunderlich test. The test consisted of 50 question multiple choice exam, which had to be completed in 12 minutes. The test was designed to test cognitive ability and leads to a numeric score being given at the end. The test, however, is famously unreliable. Over the years, it has seen forgettable players get really high scores and eventual star players have scored low. The average score is 21 out of 50, whilst Dan Marino, who is considered by many to be one of the best quarterbacks in history, scored only 16 out of 50. The only person in history to have scored a perfect 50 on the Wunderlich was Pat McAnally. Whilst he scored this impressive mark, he was still dropped to the fifth round of the 1976 draft. Why? Some teams equated being too smart with being a smart ass, feared he was potentially uncoachable. Whilst the NFL draft is considered the best talent ID program in the world, it costs circa $200 million to run and is only 15 to 19% effective. Whilst many may argue the importance of talent ID in sport, it is never simple or concise to label a child talented at a young age. Many facts have to be considered, such as the chronological, biological and relative age. All, as we saw earlier in this video, can and most likely will have an effect on all and any athlete along the development path.